This week, we're in central Pennsylvania hunting groundhogs with the O'Hara's, and Wired Outdoors starts right, right now. now. Hello and welcome to the latest Wired webisode. This week we're hunting with the O'Hara's down in central Pennsylvania. Chris O'Hara is the director of the Eastern Sports and Outdoor Show and I'll tell you I look forward to this hunt all year long. We're after groundhogs today. Let's get right to the action. He's digging them out. This guy's crazy. He eats these things and he's hungry. <laughs> there he got him. <laughs> he shot him in the face. Okay, I'll just show you here your typical groundhog hole. Pretty good size one here. Exit hole over here. A lot of times you get multiple holes in one place. Pretty destructive to the farmer's field. So. Never met a farmer that turned us down for permission to hunt, and here's why. There's one. There's one. You see where the end of the woods meets the corn? There's one to the right. There we go. Ready? <laughs> Give me a hundred yard shot to boost my confidence a little bit. There's one down here right above the green, big green strip. Right over his head. Right over his head. Yep. On him. Nice shot. <laughs> Get him. Nice shot. Good shot. <laughs> well, we under, we realized they were coming around our flank here on the back side, so we had to turn and come at them. So we just took care of a couple of the ones there on the edge. It worked out real well. That's right, it was self-defense completely. That's right. <laughs> You up? I guess. I always get the easy ones. <coughs> He's in the shade, Jace. You miss 100% of the shots you don't take. That's Shut right. up. <laughs> That's right. You're a dickhead. <laughs> got him. Got him. Nice shot. Good, good shot. shot, Kyle. Good shot, young good man. Shot. There's a confidence Very good. builder. We're shooting this thing, fella. <laughs> We're really going to do this. We really are. Good 
Nice shot. That was a good one. That was so hard because we kind of ran up here and my heart was pumping and I don't have a real steady rest. See your heart beating. I didn't have a real steady rest because I was holding on to the gun at the back end and as my heart was pumping, I was right below the groundhog and it was going boom, 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 boom. <laughs> Except I got him, I didn't see it through the scope. It was a very good shot. Got him. Nice shot. Get him. Uh, over backwards. Yep. Over backwards. How many we have right now? We're up to seven at this seven, field. Man. Seven. It's not a bad showing. That's a heavy little bugger. Hold him. Yeah, he goes at least 120, 130. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Good shot. Good shot. Oh yeah. Good shot. <laughs> that one's one still up. He's still up. I see up. him. I see him. Get on the other one, Kyle. Get him. On him. Watching. Yep. Oh hey, my. Shit. <laughs> Okay, we we're getting ready to pick up and go to another spot and on the way out, we spotted this groundhog. He looks to be, from my novice estimation, maybe 400 plus. Maybe five plus, easy. John says over five. So we're gonna let John do the shooting here. He's the expert, he's dialed in. Okay, he's half up. We're gonna see if John can put a whooping on him. He's up there taunting us. You guys see him, there's two of them. Yep, yeah, I got him. Got him. Over it, just, over just it. over a little over bit. It. Bring it down. Bring it down. Shot I got it. To the right of him. He's dead on. The one in the shadows is still there. Okay. Hold it. Just over. Him. Just over him. Bring it down. Yep, you got it now. There, there he goes. He's running. Nice. Looks like you got him. I think you got him. <laughs> it's a really long way. Well, he was moving around, he kind of ducked down. Yeah. Oh yeah, I see him. He's moving to the woods. Three hundred or so, right around there. Three thirty, about. John says three thirty. I don't really split hairs like that. I feel pretty lucky to have hit it. It was a long, long stretch, but. Got him. Nice shot. Oh, my ear ringing. Oh my! It's getting late in the evening. It's cool, and they're starting to come out again. Kyle just took one at three thirty. I took one about two fifty. That should put us about 16, 17 for the night. It's been a good night. It's been a real good night.
Okay, so I think we're gonna wrap her up for the evening. Uh, on a, it's about eight o'clock now and we're starting to lose camera light, so it seems like the hog activity's kinda died down too, but for those few hours we hunted there, we shot 15 hogs and had a lot of fun, and we're gonna come back tomorrow night and do it all again, so stay tuned for night two. Nice shot. Real nice shot. A smaller target, so it's still a challenge. But uh pretty good shot finally after after messing up that last one. Seems like the action's slowing down a little bit. We may uh, pick up, head out to another spot before we go. We're gonna go over and see what we're able to get over here to this other hole. Okay, here we are at a spot where we shot one of these groundhogs and you can see this hole at the top is probably three feet in diameter. Funnels down there probably five, six feet before it turns. And it's a real hazard to farmers and any livestock you've got out in your fields. These guys are really destructive. So you have multiple groundhogs using the same set of holes. We've got another hole here, another hole there. I mean, there's four or five holes in one location. So it really tears up the farmer's fields. Well, as you can see, this guy, he's a pretty good sized hog, I suppose about average. Um, pretty pretty messy shot here, ended up hitting him in the head, which you can see makes a real mess of him. A lot of blood here, that's a, that's a nozzler ballistic tip, so made for rapid expansion, and anytime it hits something hard like a skull or bone, it opens it right up, so he never felt a thing, I guarantee you that. This one's back out over here. In the dirt? Yep. In the mat. He just done messed up. Got him. <laughs> oh, <laughs> oh man. He, <laughs> he threw him like about two feet. Off two feet. <laughs> Like we said earlier, Chris O'Hare is the event director for the Eastern Sports and Outdoor Show, and he's gonna fill us in on all the new and exciting things we can expect to see at this year's show. Thanks, Kyle. Yeah, you know, we've worked very hard as always since last year, and you know, some of everybody's favorite celebrities will still be there. Lee and Tiffany, Ralph and Vicky, um, Stan Potts will be back this year. He missed his flights last year, so he wasn't able to make it. <laughs> um, Hank Bar Parker will be back in. Everybody loved him last year. And right. we've added some new ones like Greg Miller and a few others, so. When it comes to that, I tell everybody, go to the website, easternsportshow.com. You can see the whole list of everybody that's okay. there. You know, um, we worked very hard this year to address some attendee issues. They're very important. You know, traffic and parking, particularly. Sure. We're trying to get everybody off the highways and to the parking lots better. Right. And hopefully we've solved some of those issues and, you know, we'll be coming out with those announcements pretty soon. Um, and then when you're at the show, we want to make it easier for everybody to navigate. So we've uh, been using this program in the last couple of years. It's called Map Your Show. And we really encourage everybody to go to the website and use it because it can help them plan their trip, plan your day before you get there. And they can actually use it on site too okay. if you have a, a smartphone. Uh -huh. And then we'll have some um, 
kiosks throughout the show that folks can go up to and they can use those also to help find out where they want to go find any particular outfit or whatever it might be great uh, the big deal for this year though I got to tell you Kyle is the gun manufacturers and manufacturers as a whole we have worked very very hard this year throughout the year uh, you know super excited to announce that uh, Smith & Wesson will be at the show this year you know Thompson Center still there as a sponsor now we've got Smith & Wesson We've added Savage and Mossberg, and uh, you know we've worked on getting more dealers there to sell the guns. So between the gun manufacturers and the retailers, the West Hall has pretty much turned into the Gunslinger's West Hall nice. because it's full of gun manufacturers, it's full of retailers, and you know again that's what our attendees are asking for. So we're just trying to give it to them, whether it's guns, archery, fishing. We've worked very hard to bring more manufacturers and retailers to the show because we know they want to buy stuff. All right. Well, that's great. It sounds like it's going to be a great show. I know the whole Wired crew is looking forward to being there. Unfortunately, we missed it last year. We weren't able to go, but this year we're definitely all going to be there. So we're going to look forward to seeing everybody in February. I want him to stand up. He's going to stand up. He's not? If you don't run, shoot, he's going to run. Ready? The farmer. <laughs> I was able to get another nice shot on him. I got calmed down. I was awful nervous. Shaking pretty bad. Speaking of shaking pretty bad, Porsche trailer's coming out here. <laughs> oh, yeah. <laughs> Nice shot. What we have here is a couple of hogs. We just came down to check them out. I shot one maybe a half hour ago. Chris just shot one now. We get down here and they're side by side, right together. And they both have funny looks on their faces. Those eyeballs are hanging out. Nice, nice hogs there. Both shot in the head. And mm -hmm. that's the one I shot. This is the one you shot. Which one's a little stiffer? They're both kind of... Yeah. Thanks for joining us for this week's episode. I'll tell you, it was a blast filming it. We had a great time. I'd like to thank the O'Hara's for having us down here. They always show us a good time. So again, thanks for joining us. We had a great time. Can't wait to do it again next year. <laughs>